Okay, here we are with a two week, two week update. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my pain level and whatever I'm feeling these days at two weeks post-operation. I'm gonna talk about tea relief and the stuff that I'm doing post-operation that I can do now starting at two weeks to sort of uh, help me speed up the recovery. I'm gonna talk about the compression vests that I'm gonna be using, uh, that I have been using, and which one I think is better, what sort of physical activity I have, and I'm gonna give you an example of the range of motion that I have going on right now. So let's just take a look at it, see what we got going on here. Uh, I wear this vest at nighttime. Kinda of washed it off a little bit, not really going away. Uh, let's talk about pain level. Uh, I'm not really feeling any pain right now. Uh, sometimes when I lift my arms over my head I feel pain. It's more actually like a dull itch that I have going on right now. Dull itch. So whenever I do stuff like this, I feel it in my left side, I feel a bit of tenderness. As you can tell, it's still a bit swelling, but it is going down. It is going down. Uh, pain level. So no, no pain level. I want to say that it's like a 0.5 or something like that out of 10. Like it's just because I can feel a sensation of some sort. Uh, sensations, yeah, it's more still tender as you can see. Yeah, like my nipples are sensitive like all the time. <laughs> all the time. Uh, I think about something being halfway cold and it's like... Maybe that's just how nipples actually work and I never knew because mine were just really you know, distended the whole time, but uh, yeah. Uh, what other sensations? It's sort of like an itch, but it's an itch underneath the skin is what I'm feeling, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, so far, there's the, the chest area. Still a little bit of swelling, but it is going down significantly. All right, so what can I start doing now that it's two weeks post-operation? I can start using a roller. Now this thing is cold. I don't know if this is, it's the one that you're supposed to freeze. So I don't know if you can take a look at that. It's by this company right here. I'll post a link so you can see what it looks like. But basically what I'm supposed to do is roll this whole area. I watched a video by Dr. Caridi at the Westlake Plastic Surgery and it's the only video that I've been able to see from a plastic surgeon that does gynecomastia surgery for any care that's post-op. Um, so rolling seems to be the most important one. I also have this thing here, it's called Tea Relief. I don't know if you can see it. What does is have Arnica in it. Now I was poo-pooing a little bit on Arnica, but I was able to read a little bit about the effects of Arnica and other stuff on post-surgical inflammation. So uh, I've been applying it sporadically, I don't want to say regularly, every time I happen to think about it. So right now I'll just take a little bit and I'll do it. I usually just do it in the area where the, the, the incisions and the cannula went in. But yeah, I'll just sort of Keeping things nice, nicey nice, nicey nice. And uh, this is something that I picked up that I haven't really used yet, um, but I figured I'd give it a shot. So it's lymph stim. Adults and children 12 years and I'll take one full dropper up to two times a day. But basically what I do is under the tongue, under the tongue, is what I'm saying. I'll try and translate it on top of it right now while I am having this thing in my mouth. It doesn't taste bad, but it burns. There's like a little bit of it's like alcohol based. In terms of physical activity, the mo main things that I've been doing is just really stretching out um, and uh, taking it easy, making wa uh, taking walks really is really what I've been doing. Um, just keep it moving. I've been doing a lot of research on the lymph system, lymphatic system and uh, its effect on post-surgical healing and I'm just trying to do everything that I can to make sure that that whole system, you know, gets this whole thing going on. I've been told that things have been doing well 
and uh, I, I'm still stoked on the results. So let's talk about vests. This is the vest that I got from the doctor post surgery. I'll link, a com I'll link it to the company down below. It's called the Flex Support Compression Garment from sfstubs.com. Uh, and I'll, I'll post, I'll, I'll take a picture, I'll show you all the stuff. Um, and it has done me really well. I don't mind it. Um, it does tend to stretch, however. Now, I don't know if it's just in my mind, but I've been tightening, tightening it up constantly. And uh, as you can see, let me see if I can just put this on properly. And this is the one that I wear at night, uh, mainly because I'm still on my back and it has stretched. So I'm finding it to be tough. Maybe I'm just trying to keep everything locked tight, really tight. But I just do that and then I, it's a process for me, but I just sort of pop, pop. Pop. And then I just keep going with it, sort of work it in. And there you go. That's basically currently how I wear it right now. Kind of uncomfortable in the armpit area here, as you can see. Uh, blood stains from the surgery but yeah so I wear this I wear this at night and yeah it's okay I suppose it's good I'm happy however that I did end up getting uh, a backup one and it's this one here uh, by underworks and it basically looks like a corset I'm not gonna put it on for right now, but it's like a hook and eye, if you can see. It's got hooks on it. I'll do a video on this one. But basically what it is is like a corset. I'll tell you what, however, this thing locks it tight. These things are like right down. And this thing is like when you put it on, it's like, it's like a ma it's made for this type of stuff. and. I'm happy I got it. It's holding things down tighter and it's not stretching or maybe I'm just getting used to it, but still very tight. Everything is flat underneath there. So, so far of the three compression garments that I've worn, this one uh, takes the cake for uh, holding it down. It's not necessarily the most comfortable, but um, this whole process isn't super comfortable anyway. So anyway, that's it, two weeks post-operation. I'm gonna step out to the front there, do my little thing where I do a comparo, comparo, and uh, we'll rock and roll. So far, yeah, pretty good. If you can see. Pretty good, flat still, still swollen. I can feel it, but I'm hopeful that these bad boys will still continue to go down because it's still a bit of swell. series is to help men who've just discovered that they have gynecomastia. I want to educate them with information and also help them ask better questions. I also want to take the stigma away from gynecomastia for men so that we can actually have a good discussion around this condition. If that is something that you are into, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and hitting the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching this video.